coming at you from Colony, New York, with a bunch of apparel stocked and ready to be sold, hitting the streets of Colony, repping Metabolic Meltdown. Guys, I have a great message for you today. Um, a lot of macro coaches out there, myself included, have had clients weigh in daily, and I can understand why, because it's something, it's something for you to correspond with your coach about. It's something to hold you accountable. I Today, I'm not one to ever shy away from when I'm wrong or when I perhaps do not have the best method to do something. And slowly over the years of macro coaching, I've come to realize that maybe this is not the best way. If you weigh in and you don't like the weigh in, have you ever had the sensation that your day is ruined, that you're in a bad mood for the rest of the day because you don't like that number? I know I have. Have you ever weighed yourself multiple times a day? Guilty as charged. Have you ever weighed yourself after taking a piss? Guilty as charged. So as you can see, these are this is an unhealthy behavior, guys. Your weight does not always dictate how much body fat you lost or gained in one day. If you went to the bathroom, if you ate a meal that was higher in sodium, if you're retaining water, did you drink water? Did you drink a lot of water? What time was your last meal? See where I'm going with this? There's a lot of things that factor into that number on the scale. That does not dictate if you're losing fat or not on a day-to-day -day basis. It does dictate if you're losing fat or not over the long term, which is why, I mean, for people that say the scale doesn't matter, yes, the scale does matter. Okay, if you're losing, you know, 1% of your body weight a week on average over the course of a period of time, that's a great rate of weight loss. But maybe it's not a great idea to weigh yourself every single day. I know a lot of people, they get upset because that weight isn't what they want it to be. And it throws them off and they cheat. And then the cycle just repeats itself over and over and over again. So guys, maybe rely on a waist measurement. Take a deep breath. Relax. Measure your waist around the widest point. Don't look at it. Just take it. In the morning on an empty stomach, take a take track of that. Something I've done that's kind of cool is I get that number, and I'm sometimes shocked that my waist will be smaller, and my weight is more, and my waist will be larger, and my weight is less. And I'm, I'm like amazed at this, because here I was before thinking, oh, I'm leaner, I weigh less. That's not always the case on a day-to-day -day basis. So guys, if you're obsessing over the scale, maybe take measurements a couple days a week and take a couple weeks off the scale. It shouldn't change your overall strategy, it shouldn't change your overall approach, and it should recharge you and focus on what matters, and that's hitting your macros consistently every single day. For more information or to sign up for a free trial, go to metabolicmeltdown.com and get met addicted.